So that's why now we got into Safari Hall. It was a full-time opportunity. And I'm also wow. a full-time student. A full-time student. But so it worked. Somehow. First of all, yes, mm-hmm. let's get more into that. Mm-hmm. How was this process of you balancing school, work, uh, probably a personal life even? Would mm-hmm. you say one you gave, at that period of time, you gave your everything to um, coding and development okay, um, and barely had time for yourself because if you're saying on the weekends you're busy reading articles, trying mm. how to learn how to code, you know, what was that balance like and what what would you say kept you kept you going and, mm-hmm. you know, how it became integrated to your day-to-day life to where you are today? Mm, okay. So at this time when all this is happening, I don't know, somehow... I know COVID had a lot, but I think we really maximized. You are not missing out on social life because no one is going <laughs> anywhere. Social life? <laughs> no one is going anywhere. It's, it's lockdown. True. So it's even true. in Kent, there's no pressure <laughs> at all, at all. Yeah. And then all my friends are on the same level where mm. like the whole day we are on a call. Like it got to a point, even my oh, parents wow. knew like in a Gabriel, because I'm always wow. calling out their names in the call. So we were in a 24-hour, 24-7 call where you just go and mute wow. and you're talking to them. So, hey, and you record us, you really have to dedicate <laughs> Yeah, so that's what time. made it very possible for that time. Wow. Yeah, there was no pressure, there was nothing. So I was able to balance, because I'd wake up, we'd wake up at six. We would wake up, you even had a program. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> we're working. Me, the good thing is that me and Gabriel were in the same department, delivering the same solutions, working uh, together. Okay. So okay. we'd wake up at six, six to eight thirty. We are seriously, seriously doing school work and doing assignments. And at the time, we're also doing our final school project. Wow. The thesis that you have to write yes, and everything. Yes. So, uh, it 30, that's when our meetings used to start, if I'm not wrong. But, and classes start at nine. So, it got to a point where you're in two meetings concurrently. Wow. Yeah. So, and so define it the, work. that scenario of you having two meetings concurrently. Yeah, in class, oh, so you tell, but okay. you know, class class was recorded, ah. and they share resources. Yeah? yeah, we don't have part time uh, computer science because I did computer science. Yes. Yeah, we don't have part time computer science, but BBIT was part time. So it's more of like saying if BBIT could be part time, see, I can also make this part time. Yeah, you just so, look back at the recording. Yeah, so it's just muting. You don't have to mute your camera. You'll just watch the recordings yeah. at the end of the day, and then you have time to work. That sounds so relatable to me because I would do the same thing. Me, yeah. Fadia, I already had my job and it was remote as well, but yeah. I'm still in campus. We also don't have, we didn't have part time in communications as well, which mm-hmm. is the degree I pursued, still in the same university as you. Mm-hmm. And so, me, but me, my the problem was me. I wasn't looking back. If it's gone, it's gone. It is mm-hmm. what it is. I'll read, but I know at very many moments I can remember, I'm having my my corporate meeting mm-hmm. and then at the same time this class so I just mute it and then I put it on the side and then you know keep up with my corporate meeting or, yeah. or sometimes vice versa so those are the, the strategies for balance honestly I think COVID really helped us learn how to balance and true, I think that true. era honestly was a moment for you to take advantage of yes, if you really yes. really could have true yes so thank god we used that period the way we used it because and so because now the opportunity we got was a contractor role, which was a one-year role. And I'm joining in August, so I have till August the next year. Yes. So um, I remember, I think the only time I took a break from work was January. Because January, now I had exams and there was no way I could do, both. do exams and also um, deliver at work. Mm. But um, I had the best, best, best manager. That was also someone, because I think... It wouldn't have worked if we didn't have the manager who we had. Yes. Because we were able to tell him, oh, um, I have a cut. So from this time to this time, I won't be available. But once I'm done, I'll come. Mm. And that really gave us a very good rapport. And he also really encouraged us to deliver very well. Because I believe what me and Gabriel did was amazing for the um for the company, okay, for the department we're working mm. with, because we managed to shorten a process that they used to do daily, wow. that used to take about a whole hour to about a minute. Wow. Yeah. And you know, this process, wow. someone used to wake up, 
and run this process and wait for to finish and then send every day the person wow. on duty. So now that I, this was even given to us. So we'd literally still like just be reading and that process is running. Wow. I love that. I love that yeah. energy that you guys had. And also what's important when it comes to also balancing is having what you really hope for ideal scenario is someone who's understanding and yeah. you know, a manager or someone who takes up the role as a mentor per yes, se rather true, than someone true. who is your, you know, you know, you're a person of authority who they are, but very authoritative, very like you have this, you know, figure out your way around it. I yeah. think having someone who understands also helps you double your productivity honestly and you also but you also need to create that leverage you know you've already built this system and then you're asking for time off True. it makes sense yeah. so i'm very happy to hear that and, and given that we were also communicating with him we were very open with him mm. that also gave him um comfort comfort to so know that you... continued working there graduated in september he even came for my graduation oh, wow. yeah but now i think it was now during this time that now afterwards I transitioned into a different role within the company mm. when I went back to my API role. Mm. Um, this was 2021, June, mm. around June there. Mm. COVID, lockdown is still happening. I remember lockdown was still at seven. So mm. social life, it's not that much. It's so that you're deep. good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. And But school is done, you're good. Ah, school is done. Uh, yeah, so this department, I already knew people because I had Worked been an intern there. Yeah. And it was more of just being back there. And... Uh, remember the previous role I had was a contractor role, so it was coming to an end. So I was lucky to change before it ended. It ended. So now I got a permanent role. Wow. Yeah. And um, that's what I've been till today. Um, so now, like I mentioned, I was working when things were locked, locked, locked. Yes. So lockdown was withdrawn in Vizuri, October, mm. I remember, because... That's when our coffee was removed, removed in 2021. Can you imagine you lived in an era like that? Seven home streets yeah. empty. So now that time, they, they pushed it a bit to, they pushed it, I think, yeah, to 930. But it was so much pressure <laughs> because if you, if you, if it's Saturday and you're meeting like friends, you have to that wrap people up to meet running. at 10 a.m. They used to you. close things at eight, <laughs> and you have to run back. So By six, four in Asia, you're yeah, back. I you know, you're back. So <laughs> lockdown was removed. I remember a week after my birthday, which was kind of a bummer, and now things went back to normal. Mm. And um, this time, uh, in my current team, we were I, like a team of. 10 people. I was the only lady. Mind even in the previous department, I was still the only lady. I expected in the tech space. Not yeah. And sad, sad, but sad reality. Yes. yes. But I, I think I've been, I've, I've been but, lucky enough in mm. the spaces that I work in. I've been, I'd, like, I've been absorbed properly mm. and you're given the same opportunities. You're mm. able to thrive. Yes. yes. So, um, this time we're working a team of eight people, nine now, including my manager. Mm. So things are, you know, it was, things are going well, like things are smooth. Hey, you're finding this work from home thing so cool. Hey, you have so Convenient. much time. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we moved to like mid-2022, where now, because I think these other tech giants are also, you know, how developers it's so hard for them to stay in one position. Yeah, they are always job hopping. Yes. It's true. So I've just recently gotten this role. I can't jump up. Like, and I, I'm, I'm curious to notice, I'm liking the space and stuff like that. So, hey, the team went from eight to two people. Yeah. Recruited? Yes, yes. Wow. And let me mention, my, just my current... Now, now in the API team, it's only one API team that serves the whole of Safaricom, yeah? And uh, how the team works is, yes, I have a line manager, but um, I should thrive more as a, an individual yes. contributor. Yes. So not all the tasks I'm getting are coming from my manager. You and can my, also just see exactly. what gap is then, you try fill it. Yes, and 
my department is serving the entire uh, tech space in Safaricom. Mm. And there are so many departments that want people to, you know, develop APIs for them, expose it for them. So you have many people now come to you. So like, it's more of now me telling my boss, oh yeah, I have this, 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 and this to do. So mind you, the guys who left, their teams, the teams that they were handling now came to came us. Came to you guys. So, hey, it got to a point, it became Pressure. intense. So now, people, social life is back. Um, you're noticing, you graduated in 2021, your friends, after campus, everyone's going their own journey, but you're trying to keep those connections close as much as possible but now it becomes difficult it becomes difficult Everyone's adulting. because you also have your own duties yeah. and you cannot run away from your duties yes so it got to a point hey i'm working at night i'm working in the day saturday we don't even want to leave sunday maybe you'll be called so it was, it was, uh, high it was intensity. heavy on my back and i'm just used to being there mm. so um this it, it, it took a bit of a toll on me. I think I even had to go to therapy to wow. learn how to... Like, I literally Take went to therapy telling me I don't know how to work my time. Yeah. And you felt like it was basically consuming you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before now we even got therapy, I wanted now to even escape. Because mm. um, I was... You know how you miss school? Because school has structure. School yes. has a timetable. You wake up, you know, eight, I'm supposed to be in class doing this. Yes. And uh, nine, doing this. You know, you're working towards an exam. Yes. So you, everyone has a common goal. It's structure. It's, it's a lot of structure. So now when you're thrown here, you, start how, to you, realize, you, don't, you didn't yeah. have time to tarmac all in a straight because it's a big tech and you're mm. straight there and people like, people don't care. Yeah, you they don't care your age. You still get the same roles as someone who's been there 15 years. Good, bittersweet feeling, yes, isn't yes. it? 